Remember that time in Avengers when we discovered about the Infinity Stones? Yes, the truth of the universe. Somewhat like that is happening in our universe, too. <laughs> Don't worry, there is no Thanos coming to kill half of us. But if that does happen, there will be an Iron Man. That would be so cool. We are currently discovering the truth of the universe, which is enormous. Welcome to Entirely Elon Musk. Today we are talking about a new structure that was detected by the James Webb Telescope in the middle of the Milky Way. So what is it? And what does this mean? Well, we will tell you everything about it. So hold on tight and let me take you on a space journey you'll enjoy. Referred to as the newer space telescope, one of NASA's finest achievements is the James Webb Space Telescope. The enormous telescope was given a new name in September 2002 in honor of James E. Webb, who served as NASA Administrator from 1961 to 1968, and oversaw the Mercury, Apollo, and Gemini programs. The Canadian Space Agency and the European Space Agency, each of which has distinctive roles in creating and using the James Webb technology, were the two primary organizations that led and developed the Space Telescope's design. Launched on a European Space Agency-provided Ariane 5 rocket on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope launched into space from Europe spaceport in French Guyana on the northeastern coast of South America. Northrop Grumman was the project's primary contractor, worth $10 billion. The telescope was being developed simultaneously under the direction of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. The Space Telescope Science Institute operates the powerful space telescope in Baltimore, which is located on the John Hopkins University's own world campus. This massive infrared telescope includes a primary mirror up to 18 segments of the hexagonal mirror made of gold-plated beryllium, compared to the Hubble Space Telescope's 2.4-meter diameter mirror, which seems like an Ant-Man in front of Thanos. Compared to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope has a light-collecting area of around 25 square meters. When compared to the Hubble, it can be noted that the James Webb Space Telescope operates and observes in the near-ultraviolet and visible spectrum 0.12 to 0.8 micrometers. In contrast, the Hubble operates and observes the long wavelength of visible red light through mid-infrared 0.6 to 28.3 micrometers. It means that in order for the James Webb Space Telescope to continue operating, a temperature of between negative 223 degrees Celsius or minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit must be maintained, such that the infrared light from the telescope does not interfere with the light that has been gathered. This fantastic creation is placed in a solar orbit close to the Sun, 1.5 million kilometers or 12 Lagrange points from the planet, where the five-layer Sun shield protects it from heat from the Sun, Moon, and Earth. The primary mirror for the telescope, which is 21 feet long and gold-coated, was fully deployed earlier this year on January 8, 2022 by the Webb Mission Crew. All major satellite deployments must be completed at their final stage for the Space Telescope to start science operations effectively. According to Gregory L. Robinson, Program Director of the Space Program at NASA Headquarters, the full completion of all the Webb Space Telescope deployment is historic. He said, and I quote, This is the first time a NASA-led mission has attempted to complete a complex sequence to unfold an observatory in space. A remarkable feat from our team, NASA, and the world." Unquote. A few weeks later, on January 24, 2022, the mission crew made an incredible leap by activating Webb's thrusters and placing the space telescope in orbit around the Sun at the second Lagrange point, its ultimate target. Webb, welcome home, said Bill Nelson, NASA's administrator. Congratulations to the team for all their hard work assuring Webb's safe arrival at 12 today. We're one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe, and I can't wait to see Webb's first new views of the universe this summer. A considerable distance of almost 1 million miles from Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope has an ideal and expansive perspective of the cosmos thanks to its location. 
It allows the telescope's scientific instruments, including its optics, to continue operating in a cold enough environment to do conventional science as intended. On its inaugural trip, this space technology has also set a record when U.S. President Joe Biden saw the first full-color image from the telescope, the most precise and most detailed infrared photograph yet made of the distant universe. The image depicts a galaxy cluster SMAX 0723, thus earning the title of the space telescope's first deep field a cluster home to tens of thousands of galaxies and the furthest and weakest infrared objects yet seen. More photographs captured by Webb's cutting-edge scientific equipment the next day, on July 12, 2022, were released to demonstrate the telescope's prowess. They are the Carina Nebula, Spectrum Stephens Quintet, WAFS 96b, and the Southern Ring Nebula. Recent discoveries have given life to a new cosmic creation theory, in a stellar nursery, thousands of newborn stars that had never been seen before were discovered. Specifically, 30 Dorados were caught using the best tools for the job. These newborn stars are known as the Tarantula Nebula by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope because of how its dusty filaments appeared in earlier telescope photographs. The nebula has long been her favorite for researching star formation. The James Webb Space Telescope also revealed far-off background galaxies and the complex structure and composition of the nebula's gas and dust that supports the nation's stars. The largest and brightest star-forming zone in the neighborhood is the Tarantula Nebula, the enormous Magellanic Cloud Galaxy. The nearby galaxies to our Milky Way is 161,000 light-years away. Astronomers have focused three high-resolution infrared instruments on the Tarantula, where the most massive and hottest stars in the universe are found. The region appears to be lined up with silk when seen through the near-infrared camera of the space telescope. You can see in the image that the intense radiation has removed the nebula cavity from a cluster of huge young stars that shines in a pale blue hue when you look at near-camera image. The nebula's concentrated outer regions are the only ones that can withstand erosion brought on by the stellar winds from these stars. The protostars that are growing in these pillars, which are appearing to face the cluster, will eventually emerge from the dusty cocoons and take turns reshaping the nebula. A very young star was seen performing that specific behavior when the Webb Space Telescope was in orbit and making observations in space. Even though the star could be seen in the near distance to be just beginning to emerge from its pillar, it still had a cloud of dust surrounding it. Without Webb's high-resolution infrared spectra, it would not have been possible to see this star formation process in action. Soon enough, we will know more about this new nebula and bring it to you. So why don't you subscribe to the channel? Also, do like the video and don't forget to comment down for your views. I will see you around.